hello welcome to another tutorial so on this tutorial i'll be breaking down a loop i make um this is actually like a piano melody loop something for um road wave radio rates um to see you know all those melodic artists yeah so I, you can even see the way i i titled it wave road like road wave so yeah i'll be playing the loop and then we'll be getting into the breakdown so this is the loop beautiful like <laughs> so emotional um, um um i feel like i even feel like crying right now <laughs> but yeah that's the loop so let's just get into the breakdown so first thing i started with was this midi it's a piano midi so yeah it's actually um i use the midi like i didn't play this myself but then um, I actually deleted, like I made my own changes, deleted some notes and then, yeah, just cause it was too many. And then um, the the notes were really, really, really um, kind of offbeat. They weren't on grid, they, were, they weren't quantized. You get it like, they weren't quantized. So if I play it with the metronome, it's there's a little bit of, it's kind of not on beat. But then I was feeling lazy to like, quantize them and then put them on beat so i left it the way it was <laughs> i just left it i didn't quantize it but then um i think i did it on purpose because when you're making this kind of piano melodies you know an actual piano player can play all just look at the number of notes in this can play everything on 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 time so yeah i just left it to give it that feel so this is a piano melody on its own <laughs> So on the piano, I only have an EQ, you know, took out this frequency and then boost, boosted the highs. And then I have, have a reverb and then that's it. That's the only thing I have there. Um, the next thing is, um, the next thing is actually this um, roads. Yeah, it's 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 these roots. I just copied the main melody and then I just took out the the top notes and then yeah, I just laid it under the the piano. So it sounds like this. Yeah, so it's basically the the it's the same as the first melody. I only I also added the same effects just as the piano. The next thing I added was my bass. So my bass is from Expand. My piano was from um, Keyscape. My piano is from Expand, and then there's like one of the most realistic bases you can get. If you don't have the, uh, if you don't have contacts, you can use Expand. They have some dope bass and some realistic. Expand is a dope VST. So I use this soft finger bass, and then I just. I just copied the bass notes actually. That's what I did. Yeah, that's what I did. I just I was I was actually feeling a bit lazy when I was when I was making this loop so I left most of the stuff simple. 
and then it actually turned out fire though so i added this camera crusher i actually like to use the camera crusher on um, most of my bases and my a2 weights like it has this gives it this distorted feel yeah but i don't use i don't use um too much i added this low high yeah and then i added this um oh sorry <laughs> i didn't i didn't actually do an aq it's just the well, i don't know probably seven the pitfalls i don't know <laughs> um yeah so that's that so i added this and then the next thing i added were, were, were my vocal chops yeah So what I added on them were um, the EQ, you know, I just wanted um, the mid frequency because normally with this vocal chops, the, the high frequencies are kind of harsh. You get to, you don't want that. So you just um, EQ and then just take out the frequencies you want and leave the ones you, you, you want. If you take out the frequencies you don't want and leave the ones you want, yeah. I added reverb, you know, it's a must. When you are with vocal chops, it's a must. I added like about 55% of reverb. And then the formula controller. What this does is that I linked it to, um, it's like, um, how do I say? Um, it pans the, 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 the sample from like your left ear to your right ear. So when I play it, just look at the, the knob. It goes from yeah so if you have headphones you'll be able to hear like it goes from left to right and then um i added delay yeah i did i add, i i use the same effect for the next one my the next vocal chops yeah the next thing i added was this expand guitar x expand guitar <coughs> These are all the notes. So one thing I realized with this um, VST or this um, guitar is that if you if you have the velocity all the way up, the note slides. So let me just demonstrate it to you. You see the slide, but when I have the velocity somewhere here, yeah. so yeah, that's like a little trick you can you can do. I actually I actually. Um, a friend of mine put me onto this this trick, a swag. You can actually check his check out his YouTube channel. He's he's dope. He has some pretty dope content on there. Just check him out. Yeah. So I did that, and then I added um this um reverb again, about sixty percent. I added an EQ. I want to take some frequencies out. Then the delay. So with that, it sounds like this. Yeah. Next thing I added was, um, you know, I normally like to add textures to my loop. It makes it sound like full. So I added this, like, it's like a clap. It's a clap. It's actually a clap. So I wanted it to be like, like normally, like say if you're in a church and then the way like, yeah, that clap, it gives the loop a momentum. So I added, I added, but then I wanted to, I wanted it to be very, very low, like under, underneath the whole melody. So I just EQ'd like most of the frequencies out, added delay, sorry, added reverb and then the stereo shaper. Yeah. So with that, it sounds like this. Okay, so just under. Yeah, yeah, amazing. And then I think pretty much that's everything. The only thing I added was also um, like an accent, a guitar accent. Yeah, just to come in in some places. Yeah, so after I just rendered everything out, and then um, 
I sent it to the master channel and then I added this um, G37. I just used this, uh, yes. I just used only like 33% and then that's all. So after I pitched the loop down two semitones and then that was everything in the loop. So I'll play the final loop but then before that I would urge you, I would, I would urge you to subscribe you know. If I hit 100 subscribers, I'll be releasing a free loop kit. Yes, a free loop kit. Uh, it will contain um, probably loops from my tutorials, loops that I haven't released yet, and all that. Like probably about 15 to 20 loops, free royalty free loops you could use. So let's let's just let's just get to 100 subscribers, and then um, we just we just have the loop kit. Peace out, and then. Have a blessed day.